everyone, welcome back. I'm K Plays Games and we're playing some Nautica yet again. And when I left you, we come home from our previous trip and we took the prawn suit out and got a whole load of copper. So much so that the copper box is completely full. And we got some lithium and we powered our way home and we got a radio transmission telling us that there's another life pod with no coordinates attached, just a picture and a vague kind of directions to follow. Okay. 200 meters, it's not that far down. Approximately one kilometer southwest of the Aurora's stern section. I think this is a a sea moth type thing. So uh, the ship is this away. Southwest is that way. But I don't know how far we are from the ship, from where we are. I think we'll go to the stern, point southwest, and just bash on until we find it. What's getting no radiation warnings anymore? Looks like it was true. Yeah, I think this is as close to the stern as we need to get. Southwest. Approximately one kilometer southwest. Right. Keep the compass at southwest. And we know it's 200 meters down. So we'll just keep going. Heard a strange roar. That one, if you can hear it in the background. I don't really want to turn around and look. So I'm not going to. I don't think we've been here because there's all kinds of stuff to scan scattered around it. Right, let's just... Okay, here cool, we can get right in. PDA. Data box. Loot box. Cruddy water. What was that that just flashed up? Modification station, don't really care. I'm not overly concerned about getting more titanium. We've got three boxes of it at home now. We're pretty well stocked for that. Just data boxes and PDAs, that's all we really need. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, this is going to be a flashlight job. Oh, flashlight. Thank you. Is this just going to take us back into this first room again? Oh my god, it is. That is embarrassing. Well, okay. I should have checked that at first. Well, that's the end of that wreck. Ain't nothing doing. Right, where's the sea moth? Here it is. Southwest, 200 meters down.
This looks like the place. These kind of sloping things. Oh, of course there's bone sharks here. Of course. Why not? Why not? Two hundred meters. Mm, no. And sixty four, sixty two. Tiger plants of all things down here. Ah uh, ha ha, I think I see it. Yes, I see it. Nice piloting. Well done, me. Need some sharks. Very close by. Where is he? Come here, you. These things are so silent until they hit you. God's sake. Wait, how do we get into this one? Is it? I know. I thought it was intact. Toy car. PDA. A doll. Maybe this will cap. No, oh, I'll take it. Oh, nothing else here. I'm not seeing any wrecks close by. No. Usually when we find one of these, it's close by a big giant wreck. Not on this occasion. That Mesmer? Yeah, it is. The Reginald. Some weird stuff down here. No. I'm not seeing anything that's worth getting out for. A bit over this ridge. Hmm. Big quartz thing. Okay, I know where that is. That's the... This is this big wreck we got into from the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, because we come at it from this angle. Okay. We've been there. That's good. We can go straight home. On the way, we'll listen to LifePod 7 crew log. I've tried everything. The analysis circuits on the fabricator are fried. You can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here, have a children's toy. Need deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. I'm going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here, it's got to make something useful eventually. I'm not holding out any great hopes that that guy got out of there. Oh, radio. Just in time. Just in time for us getting home. Another radio ma- Oi, leave my camera drones alone. Oh, neighbours. Who'd have them? Welcome aboard, Captain. Are you sure we've got nothing in the Seamoth? It seems that's huge. That's not. They partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. What is going on? That's the second 
weird robot voice thing we've heard. I'm not a fan of that. It's not cool. More lore stuff. You can pause and read it. I'm not going to bother reading it all out. Yeah, it's giving you enough time. What blueprint did we get? An unusual doll. This is a doll of a YouTuber that helped develop the game. I mean, this version of the game was very much developed with fans of the game. The developers were properly open and honest about every part of the development process and a lot of suggestions that players made were taken on board and enacted and brought into the game. Right, let's finally build a thermal plant, two magnetite, an aerogel, and five titanium. Let's go outside. Get a gel sack. Yep. And no, use planter, not knife planter. Idiot. Here to jail, please. Thank you. Right, how many power transmitters do we think we'll need? Golden titanium? I'll take six of each. Right, and then we'll need the builder tool. Let's go. I think the volcano is out this way. Is this an eclipse or is it darkness? It's an eclipse. Go wait this one out. I think the volcano, yeah, you can see it here. Here it is. Now we have got the reinforced dive suit, so we can do this in moderate safety. Still don't think we want to be right in the middle of it. Okay, there's a little cave here. Ooh. Ah. Okay, so exterior modules, thermal plant. Yeah, we're still taking some heat damage. The hotter this gets, the more power it provides. 73, that will probably be plenty. Okay, let's go. It's not actually providing power to anything at the minute, it's just providing power to itself. What you have to do is make power transmitter. See this blue line? This shows you if it's connected or not. Like that. And then you just have to daisy chain these all the way back to your base. Still within range. Hey, they just daisy chained the power all the way back up over this hill. I'm not sure what the range is on these, it's not unlimited, so you do have to be careful somewhat. Sometimes if you make the distance too long and it's right on the effective range, when you re-log after saving, it will actually break. And if you're building deep underwater, this can be fatal. Because, wow, look at it, okay, well, it thinks it's connected to the base, but just in case, I'm going to put an intermediate one, because that was an extremely long range. Okay, it goes right through the hill, right through here. Nice. And that's how you do thermal power. Oh, well, not just thermal. 
what you can do, you can come like way up here and put down a um a foundation slab here. And then on top of that you can build a whole array of solar harvesters and then use these power transmitters to bring solar really deep. So that's pretty cool because that's completely passive, as is the thermal. That will just run forever now. So we've got constant power in the base. Oh, 975 in total. We don't have to worry about keeping this top top anymore. I think the thermal will be able to deal with it. Okay, and we've got some left over. This and this and this away. Okay, is there anything else we can build this episode? Is there anything we need up here? Maybe get a bar table there. Just trying to waste time until the radio pings again. Because <laughs> I want a beacon. I really want a beacon to go to. Come on radio, do something. Right on cue, it has done something. So let's very quickly build a bar table, miscellaneous bar table here. Glass, we'll just put it here. Then we'll go chair. <laughs> okay, we'll just, oh for goodness sake, chair there. And chair. There. Nope, built them too close. There, and there. Okay, now the game's happy. We have enough space to sit. Right, good. Radio, 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 radio. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's, well, it's better than the alternatives. We've set you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Wow, this is a thing. We've actually got an on-screen timer. We could actually be getting out of here. And on that note... We'll end this episode. And the next episode, we'll go to their landing site and we'll see what's there and we'll prepare. And hopefully, we'll be able to get off this rock and go home. If you're enjoying Subnautica, please leave a like. If you're not, leave a dislike. Subscribe anyway, because I think this is going to be cool. See another spaceship trying to land. And I'll see you for the next one. Take care. Goodbye.